All right. Sorry about that. Um, man and machine combined, just our regular uh, little theme slide here before we enter the webinar. Just a reminder that um, it's uh, very difficult to be uh, these days uh, successful as just a human with no help. But when you've got a machine or technology to help you, the two of us working together are really the way to go. And especially Trade Ideas specializes in serving up real ideas in real time for opportunity. And then from there, you are a better manager of the trades uh, for sure as things change in real time and nuances change. All right, so the agenda for today, typical as usual. Uh, I'll go over the market recap here in a moment. Andy has some thoughts on AI recap. We'll look at the trade of the week. And then we've got a new scan, not a new scan. We're going to pull up an old scan, but try and really tie it all together as to why it's um, necessary right now to try and shift gears a little bit. All right, so let me get my chart up here with the proper uh, moving averages and such. Stretch it out here a little bit. All right, so S&P, um, you know, there's really no case to be short, as I like to say sometimes, but we're up here in thin air for sure. And we've had, you know, two or three days of pretty good run, gap and run, gap and run, and nowhere really to go today. It's just kind of a, a, a pause holding pattern. And I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe a couple more of these or just a little bit more, you know, until the moving averages come up to catch it. That's just the way things have been going. It's just a matter of really how deep is that pullback or consolidation going to go sideways. But you know, along the way here, there were a few periods of moment, you know, where you guys, when we were talking here in the market recap, where I was in extreme defensive mode. And I think, you know, these three periods, uh, I was saying, hey, I don't see any reason to really be long right now. So I'm pulling a lot of longs off and I'm sitting in a lot of cash and maybe a couple of hedging ETFs here and there. But, you know, once they started to work, they quickly reversed on me and I got out and I said, all right, got to stay long and look for the setups again, once again. But each time this happens, as we, as we come out of these movements, it seems like the individual names just don't want to really follow what we've had going here in the general bigger picture. And I'm not just saying that for my, myself. You know, Andy will certainly corroborate that. And a lot of the other guys here in the swing trading accounts, we've been saying the same things. You know, market's up one and a half, two percent today, and I'm, my stocks are down 2%. What the hell's going on? So something is levitating these indexes higher, um, but the leader right now continues to be the S&P and, of course, the Dow as well. Um, again, up here in clean air, no reason to be short. Um, but the interesting thing was last week when we spoke, uh, the NASDAQ and uh, the Russell 2000, we'll look at in a second, were both still under pressure. Um, many rejection wicks here in the NASDAQ in the queues at that 50 period moving average, which I often consider the general health of a stock or an index in this case. And back then, you know, a week, two weeks ago, it just, it was still a little under pressure. And I use the word, or Shan Brian Shannon's word, uh, guilty until proven innocent. Well, it proved to us it was innocent. And you can't stick no charges on the uh, NASDAQ either because I said once we start to see a close above that area that had been defended so hard, there it was right there. You know, if you were short and you were waiting for tech stocks to roll over, that really was your cue to start getting out and <laughs> protecting uh, what you can because you can just see the follow through here. So there is... Um, no laggards anymore like there was in the last couple of weeks. Everything is, seems to be just finding a way higher. And um, technology was really kind of in the um, back seat, and it, it found a way to uh, recover as well. And the NASDAQ, I'm sorry, the Russell 2000, I'll go back a couple of days is what it looked like, you know, a couple of days ago. And I said the same thing, these small cap stocks, everything that was so easy in um, November, December, the small cap runs and the momentum runs and the EV stuff was just crazy. But now we're on the underside of health here. Odds would favor it might not do it, but wouldn't you know it, this market just finds a way. We're back closing above these moving averages. So there's really nothing that you can point your finger at at this point um, that's lagging for the most part. Some interesting notes, uh, some of the gold miners were kind of popping up again today. One of the things I'm watching and Andy's watching too are, are the interest rates and there's two ETFs you can use for that. Uh, this first one is the 20 year treasury bond. And what I see coming up here would be a pretty good pivot level something like that. Um, so if we start to close above that orange line again, well, maybe the uh, interest rate rise that people are talking about is, is not going to happen. You can also look at the IEF, and this is much more of a downtrend. Um, 
having a difficult time as well. This is the seven and ten year. This is really where all the mortgages are based off of. So if you're out there waiting to refinance or, or looking for a mortgage and you see this ETF start to get down here in this level, you know, chances are you're going to start reading headlines again about uh, interest rates. So just a little side adjunct there because everything else here in the uh, ETF land for the indexes is just um, telling you there's no reason not to be long and there's no reason to be short. It's just a matter of what you're going to pick. And we'll talk about that coming up when we get into the rotational type stuff. Anything you want to add, Andy? I think I got a I think I got a direct message from a trader today that said oh, I knew I shouldn't have bought something today. <laughs> so buying up here, yeah, I mean you're you don't want to load the boat up here at these levels and we channel. So if you like something here, dip your toe in, but you know, maybe wait for that or whatever is coming around the corner. I don't know. Sideways would be the best. All right. Well, that's all I've got there. Let me pass it over to Andy and go ahead and